Hi, this is Doug with Stride Graphics and Web Design, and in this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to send off an email campaign with MailChimp. So um, I've already logged in, and this is the dashboard. Um, so I've got some templates that I've already created, so I'm just going to go to those templates, and I'm going to select the top one, Heritage Meets Gourmet Sample. And if you shoot over to the right, and just click on the drop-down menu, the first item is going to be create campaign, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, now uh, it gives you an option to choose a list, and in this case I'm not going to use the actual valid client list for this client I'm working with here in this example. Uh, I've created a example uh, list, so I've just called it test group. So I'm going to call, I'm going to select that one because I don't want to annoy any any customers with this test run I'm going to do here. Uh, the next step, it's going to basically give you the option to select sort of smaller groups within a list if you have designated groups within a list. In this case, I haven't done that, so I'm just going to use the default entire list. Um, and then just way down at the bottom right corner here, uh, just click on Next. And you're going to want to give this a campaign name. So depending on the time of year or what whatever promotion you're working on. So maybe we are getting close to Christmas here. So maybe we could use that or in the States, I guess, Thanksgiving. But I'm up here in Canada. So we'll, we'll use the closer one for us, which is Christmas. So the client I'm working with is Heritage Meats Gourmet up here in beautiful Langley, British Columbia. Uh, and I'm just going to throw Christmas at the end of it, Christmas specials. Um, now you've got a uh, text field here for the email subject line. So if you don't know, uh, this is this is very important. Um, you know, you're, you only get one chance with, with your, your, your audience. So you want to make the subject line as appealing as possible, but not overly spammy. Um, so in this case, um, you know, well, I'll just keep it simple. Uh, Heritage Meat, great deals, great Christmas deals. Okay, so the from name by default. We'll just keep it as the company name. Uh, email address, the default email address is fine here. Uh, now you've got all sorts of different options down here. And I'm going to keep this fairly simple. Um, there are premium accounts that get into uh, conversion, tracking, managing replies, stuff like that. Um, personalizing the to field. Uh, basically, if you've specified uh, first name, with the list that you've uploaded or imported or created. Um, this just personalizes the email, so it'll actually say to John Doe or, or whoever the email is. So, so I'm going to specify that, and there's just a little short tag, a short code for, for that text field. We'll leave that as default. Um, track opens, yes, that's definitely something that we, we want to see. We want to see how many people are actually opening the emails. Have we enticed them with the email subject line? Um, these other options are, are under the paid account, which are great um, to get into. But again, I'm just going to keep things simple. Uh, we don't have any e-commerce set up with this account. Uh, this is great. Um, you can basically connect your Twitter account as well as your Facebook account. Uh, so when you do send out the campaign, we're going to get some automatic uh, posts for these social media platforms. Um, I'll leave this off for now because, again, it's, a, it's just a test run here. I don't want to be spreading this through the social media on a dummy uh, email campaign here. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with these settings. So again, we'll click Next. And here we're going to 
have an opportunity to take one last look at the, uh, the email template that we've designed or chosen. So give it one last one last look here. Make sure you're you're happy with it. And if you do want to make some edit, last minute edits, again, uh, you can just click over the mod each module, and you've got the edit icon right here, and you can make any edits, all your text formatting, hyperlink, insert image. Um, yeah, they're all there. So I'm happy with the way things look, so I'm just going to click on the next button on the very bottom right. And this gives us one last chance to review everything, a bit of a summary of everything that's been composed. Um, specifies that we've chosen the test group, which has two recipients. Uh, the subject line, um, all replies will go to info at, that's important. Um, tracking has been set up, just basically the default tracking, so we're going to see basically how many opens. Uh, we'll also be able to see how many click-throughs. So if we did add some hyperlinks within the, the email campaign itself, we'll be able to see and track how many visitors actually click through some of these hyperlinks um, to whatever destination you had specified. Um, there's an option for plain text email. Some people are pretty rigorous with their security with their email, so no images will get through. So it, this just gives a plain text email option um, for people. Uh, and then just getting into these social cards, I did not enable these, but they're definitely very handy, and I would recommend using those, getting your Twitter and your, your Facebook accounts set up uh, when you're sending these campaigns. Um, and then rewards, this is a MailChimp uh, rewards program, affiliate program, um, which you can you can read into. Uh, MailChimp is pretty good with, with tutorials and, and explanations on, on their products, so if you want to know more information, uh, just look through MailChimp's website and it'll, it'll go over that. Um, so now you've got an option to either send it right now or you can even schedule it. So let me just go to schedule now and it'll give you options. So if this is going to be a, say, a, a Black Friday or a Boxing Day campaign and you want it to kind of kick in right at the minute, as soon as 12.01 hits, um, you can specify that and not have to worry about uh, about manually doing it yourself. So, so you can you can preset different campaigns that you want to run. Um, if you're really planning ahead and you've got say monthly uh, campaigns that, that you want to run, uh, quarterly campaigns, um, if you've got that all planned out and you want to just set all that up, um, you can, you can go ahead and do that with the scheduling feature, which is very handy. Uh, and it does take time for MailChimp. If you've got a, a huge list, it does take time for, for everybody to get those emails. So uh, you do want to set it up a bit earlier so that it gives time for for everyone to receive the email. So I will cancel this for now. And we'll just show you how to send immediately. So just hit the send button bottom right. And it's as easy as this. Just click send now. You are about to send a, a campaign. So I'm going to hit send, and that's it. So it'll lead you to a few options to track the performance. This will take some time, you know, give it a day or two to see what sort of response you've received from the campaign that you've sent out. Um, so you can track track that. They've even got a tracking performance for, for mobile apps as well um, in mobile app, mobile apps. So that's basically how you would send the campaign. Now I'm just going to go up top here and to show you where you would see the reports. So just click up reports up here. And here's the email I just sent. And we can click on the report. And right now, because I just sent it, it doesn't show any open emails. It doesn't show any click-throughs doesn't show any bounced emails or unsubscribed, but these numbers will start to populate and come in uh, over the over the first few few days of sending your campaign. Uh, but lots of other neat stats that you can kind of look through. Um, and then here is the uh, any of the URLs that I had set up in that, that template. Um, you can actually see how many 
uh, people click on that specific link, which is really cool. So yeah, more stuff here to look through, but uh, in a nutshell, that's basically how you send off a campaign. So um, big word of advice is, is double check your campaigns before you send them. Uh, you know, you only get one shot and you don't want to make any mistakes and have to uh, resend a, a revised version to somebody. Um, again, it's it's a sticky thing. You don't want to be annoying people with these email blasts. You don't want to do them too often. You don't want to lose subscribers. So um, keep that in mind uh, when you're when you're putting together your next campaign. Thanks for watching.